Are you ready for Friday Night Football Frenzy with sports director Joey Lamar and Ken Kozarowski? It's the first Friday Night Football Frenzy of the season, and Ken, we are pumped. We are indeed. And Joey, the schedule is packed. 11 oh, yeah. games to show tonight. That's right, Ken, and we start in Class AAA. No score after the first between Legacy and Grand Forks Red River. And then the second, Red River going for it on fourth down. But Legacy's Jace Norviston comes up with the interception, but Legacy could not score off the turnover. Later in the quarter, Red River's up 9-0, but again, Legacy defense comes up big. A fumble recovery gives the ball to the offense. And off the turnover, Legacy quarterback Rhett Clements gets the high snap and decides to keep the ball himself. He scrambles in for the touchdown. Legacy missed the two-point conversion and trailed 9-6, and they fall to Red River 16-13. Two playoff teams from a year ago with Century and West Fargo Cheyenne. Cheyenne is down 14 to seven midway through the second when Parker Sander rolls out and hits Tyler to Kahark, who oh, tips man. the pass to himself and catches it, but it was not good enough for a first down. So on fourth and three, Sander starts running right and goes back left, but he is stopped short of the sticks. And off the turnover on downs, Century going for the home run ball, but Caden Jackstrom comes up with the interception. The score was 14 to seven century at the half as the Pats take this one in overtime, 21-14. Not a turnover so far. We got Davies taking on Bismarck High as well. The Demons are rolling early. Isaiah Olson gets a lane and takes it from six out, and the Demons go up six nothing. They keep that momentum going in the first. Joe Johnner on the end around, practically untouched, oh. and that'll double the lead for the Demons. With under four minutes in the second half to go, Bismarck looked to put the game out of reach, and this one will be Jared Hager running it in. Bismarck High with an early statement on Davies 48-19. Wow. Yeah, exactly. Dickinson's also opening the season on the road at Fargo North. Spartans knocking on the north early. Blaine Anderson finding the edge, but the ball is going to be jarred loose. Midgets try and jump on it, but it's north that's going to get there first. A couple plays later, Caleb Fratell rolling left, heaves to the end zone, but Dickinson, a big-time interception to stop the drive. And later there on offense, and Talon Klatt looking and finding Chandler Wanner, who makes a great catch. But that was the only highlight for Dickinson. They fall tonight 32-7. to All right, and man, they look to be a playoff team. They're in Grand Forks taking on Central. And late in the first half, Jackson Lawrence looking down the middle of the field, but the pass is picked off by Blake Ahrens. And he's going to make a nice return for Mandan. Then the Braves offense goes to work. Dane Carlson going up top to, I, to Elijah Klein, who comes down with the ball for a huge gain. That will lead to a field goal to make it 38 to nothing. Mandan at the half. And then Mandan will add another field goal. Evan Aarons with a 45-yarder. The Braves are going to take down the Knights 41 to 22. And St. Mary's honoring Roger Howe, who passed away with decals on their helmets as they take on Grafton. And the Saints' Ben Schmidt scores a rushing touchdown from 10 yards out. And a little later, Grafton driving with, but then the Saints' Mark Homer will intercept the pass. And he's going to take this all the way back to the house for a six. So St. Mary's opens the season with a shutout win, 41 to nothing. Ken, you tired yet? Oh, not by a long shot, and neither should you at home, because coming up next, we have more highlights from Class A, 9-man, and 6-man. But first, we're going to show you some scores from around the region.